tired of him? Yeah, <laughs> of course not. He, he never gets tired. Uh, it sounds like you'll have Mark back tomorrow. I, yes. mean, I, I know Fred's still out, but uh -huh. finally getting guys back, how exciting is that? Well, obviously, uh, any anytime you can get uh, Mark and Soul back on the floor, we got Pascal back uh, last game, and we have the luxury of having two awesome bigs out there, and, and they work well together, and, and they complement each other. So it'll, it'll be nice to uh, have most of our group back tomorrow. Sometimes the adjustment for guys coming back is a little slow. Mark's level of intelligence on the court and his lack of athleticism probably makes it easier for him to get back up quickly. Well, you know what I mean? I, of course. Yeah. I mean, I, I played nine years with no athleticism, so I understand what you're saying. I don't take that personal. Good, thank you, thank you. But you know, a lot of people, you, you've hear, you heard knowledge is uh, power, but knowledge is also quickness. So you don't have to be the, the quickest guy when when you can have great anticipation and readiness. As Mark, uh, obviously, he had, everyone knows he has tremendous basketball IQ, and he's fun to coach. I mean, we learn as much from him as, as hopefully he learns from us. And his adjustment period should be quicker than somebody. For sure. I mean, um, he knows the game. You know, he knows the game like the back of his hand. Um, he, because his game is predicated on involving others, and he's not going out there looking to score 30 points. He's out there to facilitate, run offense, take the shot when, when, when uh, it presents itself. But he's a tremendous uh, team player. On the other side of the coin, there's Pascal who probably needs that lateral quickness right. more. And it, this being his first time coming back from an injury like this, is there a learning curve there just in terms of how he has to work well, his way back? Well, he's young once, one, and uh, I thought he did a phenomenal job. I mean, he came out and hit his first couple of shots. He, um, he really set the tone for us. I think he admitted he got a, a, a little winded at, at one point, but that that's to be expected. You know, um, a couple games to, um, to, to get back in like game uh, condition. This is the NBA. You know, you play 48 minutes here, but I thought he did a phenomenal job of, of being out uh, the, the period that he was out and coming in and really uh, playing well. You mentioned uh, having two really good centers. How do you manage with Sorg maybe playing some of the best basketball in his career, working Mark back in? I know Mark was just starting before he got hurt. That's not all. Well, I think Coach Nurse has done a phenomenal job just uh, just setting the tone for our team. And uh, we're a very unselfish team. These guys make sacrifices for each other. And like I said before, we, we have a luxury of having two awesome bigs. And, um, you know, it'll be up to Coach Nurse to who, <laughs> decide who he rolls out there. But we're confident with whoever, uh, whichever one starts. You got a good look at Shea a couple weeks ago. Yes. Get a good look at him again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What's been most impressive about the lead that he's taken this year? Well, when you play th these guys, sometimes, especially the OKC being on the, the, on the West Coast, you don't really get a up close and personal look at them. But when we played them here um, on our home court, uh, you got to see his versatility, his quickness. I mean, he really was a lot more explosive than I thought, and the help has to be there early with him. And and what that means is now our bigs are going to have to come over and help, and, and that leaves Stephen Adams on the glass. So um, obviously we got our hands full, but it's going to take a, a total uh, team effort. When you see guys, people always talk about Shea's ability to pace, so mm -hmm. fast, 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 Yes, fast. yeah. Is that sort of the thing that, that players notice? A, guy, a lot of guys can jump in this league, a lot of athletics are kind of like power, but a guy can really have stats kind of control. Uh, absolutely, and, and it's very rare a lot of times for younger guys coming in the NBA. That's something that you learn. That's you know that's the Kyle Lowry. So you know it's been in ten to fifteen years, and they know all the nuances. But to your point, I mean, he, he has great ball control. Um, you really can't speed him up. You know he plays at his pace, um, at his pace, and he knows how to uh, you know slow to fast, fast to slow, uh, use his size and his length. So he, he has great uh, command of his game for such a young guy. Well, you know, I kind of laugh and uh, uh, giggle a little bit about, you know, th they had these, you know, super legitimate superstars leave uh, Paul George and obviously, um, Russell Westbrook, but 
they have talent on that team, and they are a very good team. You know, Chris Paul, um, you know, he's the future Hall of Famer. Um, and look at the talent around him, uh, Steven Adams. Now they got Gallinari back. So they're a legitimate threat um, versus any team uh, in the East or, or in the, on the West Coast. And uh, I feel like Coach Donovan has done uh, a hell of a job, you know, considering everything year to year that he has to deal with and uh, keeping that, that boat uh, together and keeping them moving in the right direction. I think he's maximizing all the talent that he has on, on his team. And that, that's a credit to uh, him just continue to, to grow as a coach himself. Well, I think one, um, a lot of focus obviously is gonna be on Chris Paul and uh, Shea. So, uh, we, we know that they're going to command a lot of attention. I and mean, then we got to do a better job of just controlling their, their drives and, and getting in the paint. Um, there's a lot of, about, you know, the analytics of basketball, what's a good shot and a bad shot. And, you know, that non-paint two free throw line for Chris Paul, that's a great shot. I mean, he is at a very high level. And you you got to respect that. And we got to um, uh, be ready to defend that just a little bit better. And obviously, uh, we got to make sure that we're taking the easy baskets away from Shea. And uh, like I said before, he has explosive first step. And so we, we got to really, that, that weak side bottom defender, he has to be in and he has to be engaged. And then um, just watching Gallardinari since he's been back. And, you know, he, he's, he's a problem for um, smaller guards when you switch on to him. You know, he, he can take them in a pose, he can shoot over them. So obviously we got to have a, a good game plan going into tomorrow about how we want to uh, deal with all those moving parts. Do you want to call anybody out like Nick does sometimes? <laughs> any of the no, I leave that up to the coach. That's, <laughs> that's all coach nerves. <laughs> yep, yep.